everyone welcome to creative med school i am dr pragati wadkar in this video we are discussing about varicose veins varicose vein is the common but most often neglected condition which may sometime lead to complications varicose veins are the veins that are enlarged and tortuously dilated due to valve dysfunction these are commonly seen in legs now let's see why this happens normally blood from the legs move upwards towards the heart through the vein which has valves that allow blood flow upwards from legs towards heart and does not allow back flow of the blood but in varicose veins the valves are dysfunctional that allow back flow of blood resulting in varicose veins These varicose veins can give rise to complications like swelling in legs, itching, ulcers which over time can increase and start bleeding. This is an example of a varicose ulcer. Varicose veins are seen in individuals whose occupation requires prolonged standing. and varicose veins can also be seen in conditions like pregnancy which can obstruct blood flow from legs to heart varicose veins can be easily diagnosed by doctors clinically are using duplex ultrasound imaging that can show functioning of the valves though surgical excision of these veins can be done other treatment options like injecting sclerosens into veins are sealing of the involved veins through laser therapy as shown are also available unfortunately most of the patients come to doctors after developing complications from varicose veins are when there is a need for surgery so consulting your doctors at the earliest gives chance for your doctors to educate you about varicose veins and also help you prevent complications and the need for surgery Simple measures that can slow down worsening of varicose veins include limb elevation, simple leg exercises to strengthen calf muscles, and wearing tight elastic stockings. This is a revision slide. For information about the recent advances in the treatment of varicose veins, do consult your general surgeon.